Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. It's wash day and you know how it goes. Wash day, we, got, we have to do some treatments. So I'm doing a deep conditioning treatment and also a scalp treatment. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So guys, for this treatment, we're going to use apple cider vinegar because our scalp needs to get clean. Some moringa because our scalp needs to be strengthened and also the most powerful ingredients here is my peppermint and my aloe vera and I'm going to use some of my Ayurvedic hair growth oil that you saw previously. So we're going to get this together and we're going to um, peel the aloe vera for blending of course. If you guys... Um, want to use like a spoon to scoop it out it's much easier to scoop it out with a spoon than trying to get it out with a knife but yeah whatever works best for you guys just go ahead and do that so I get all the gel out and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to blend I'm gonna blend this together you notice guys this mixture didn't have any water I did not add any water to this because aloe vera when it's blended fully it's going to have it's gonna be like super liquidy right so you don't need water as you can see the gel is not like thick it's very loose so it's almost like water so you don't need to add water then I'm going to add my other ingredients now so I'm adding my moringa and I add about two tablespoon of moringa powder to the mixture and I mix this up then I'm gonna go ahead and add my apple cider vinegar guys apple cider vinegar is we're gonna talk about it just hold on a second we're gonna talk about apple cider vinegar okay so I'm adding my apple cider vinegar and I add about five tablespoon because my extra you don't have to add that much but my scalp really need this because my scalp been flaking and it's flaking because I use a product that was expired I had it for like maybe over two years and I said you know what I'm not gonna throw it out so anyway we're gonna get back to that and I'm using my Ayurvedic hair growth oil links will be down below for this hair growth oil guys and then I'm adding my essential oil because you know that you have to have essential oils in your mixture, in your DIYs. This is what helps to stimulate your scalp and help to promote hair growth, okay? You need to have that. So I'm mixing everything together. So guys, you see how simple, easy this mixture is. It's not, it's not hard at all. It's not a complicated mixture. And I made it loose like that, liquidy, because I'm going to apply it to my scalp. And I will show you guys, I made a different form by adding gargum to it so that I can apply it to my hair because I can't bother with stuff running all over my body. So I'm applying it, I'm adding it to that um, bottle, that applicator bottle, so I can easily get it on my scalp. Because really and truly, I really need my scalp to be back the way it was. And yeah, so now let's head over to application time. So guys, that's how the mixture is looking. It's ready for my scalp. All those goody goody nutrients in this mixture. And then this is how the other one is looking is the same mixture but i add some gorgum to it to thicken the mixture so i can apply it to my hair and you're going to see how amazing it's looking and yeah so i'm applying it to my scalp making sure that i massage it in and then i use the thicker mixture for my hair and the thicker mixture it have my curls pop a locking look at my curls my curl them just them just a them just a, a show themselves like right now my curls showing me some love this product is simply amazing so i'm applying the rest to my scalp as usual 
because my focus is mainly for my scalp and I'm actually going to get strength from my scalp with this because strengthening your hair, you have to strengthen your hair from the root so you can have lasting growth. And with the dry scalp that are, that's on my hair, I need to get rid of the dry scalp so that my follicles can be free and ready for the blood flow to flow underneath my scalp so I can have long, healthy, thick hair. So guys, let's talk about apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar is like a giving gem guys on your scalp it will help to prevent dandruff causing yeast like if you're a type of person that have a lot of dandruff chronic dandruff you know that dandruff even though dandruff uh, does not like cause any health issues it can be very it can be very uncomfortable and it can cause infection on your scalp if you itch it too much right if you know want to know if you have a lot of danger for those who don't know you can notice a lot of flakes on your scalp and the flakes will come out on your clothes when you are combing your hair apple cider vinegar is one of the natural home remedies you can use to get rid of the dandruff or dry itchy scalp it helps to prevent yeast buildup on your scalp so if you use apple cider vinegar as a rinse or put it in your DIYs, apply it to your scalp, you should be seeing your scalp getting cleared up over time. Guys, do you see how this DIY made my curls pop? Like, look how shiny my hair look. My, my curls was definitely loving this DIY. But the main purpose of this DIY is to get my scalp ready for that growth okay it the aloe vera that i use in the diy also help to smooth the scalp you know that aloe vera when you hear about aloe vera we think about using aloe vera on your scars if you get a sunburn you can use aloe vera and that but aloe vera is also good when it comes to getting your scalp um to be cool down from the irritation of scratching it and also help to prevent dangers from building up on your scalp yeah so that is one of the reasons why i use it as well look at my hair with this treatment this treatment guys comment down below if you're going to try this diy out this diy was very 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 easy to make and it's a very effective diy as you can see how it made my curls pop and guys when your 4c curls pop like this you know that the product is working but you have to add heat to this um when you finish you're gonna have to add heat because that's what i did i apply i apply the the mixture and then i went ahead and add my heat cap to my hair to my on my head and leave it in for like 40 minutes when I took it off, my hair was so warm. And yeah, after washing it out, that is how my hair is looking. Still looking soft. Still looking amazing. Still having the curls. They're still looking healthy. And then my scalp looks good on the first go. My scalp still, I was trying to like for you guys to see, but I was out of focus with this one. But my scalp was looking good and I will update you guys on how my scalp will be in the upcoming weeks however when we are doing these type of diys for scalp treatment one one treatment will not work completely on your hair so i will definitely gonna have to try another diy for scalp treatment so guys i have not mentioned about moringa but i will leave a video up above for you guys to check out my video on moringa thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys